Welcome back to Plus Sports. Our next story has it that Bulgaria have been given one-time stadium ban and fined $83,000 of a racism. And it's no news. Well, the Bulgarian national soccer team has been ordered by UEFA to play its next home game behind closed doors as punishment for the... Um, you know, the codes, the racists, and all the chants that you could say in that particular game, the Euro 2020 qualifier against England. The Bulgarian Football Union has also been fined 94,000 US dollars for uh, that particular behavior of its supporters and the throwing of objects and causing disturbances uh, during a national anthem. The fine was for the racist behavior. The disciplinary arm of European football governing body also ordered Bulgaria to play a second match behind closed doors. However, that punishment is suspended for a, um, a particular period, which is for two years. And this is one thing that has gotten people talking. So tongues are actually wagging right about now, Ini. And people are saying, uh, we think um, this particular sanction is not in accordance to what should have been done. Many were expecting more. Some were saying it's a bit too lenient, so to say. I find this decision laughable at best and diabolical at worst. And I mean, it's... <laughs> I sit down, I'm thinking about what UEFA have done, and I'm thinking, are we really honest? Are we genuinely sincere about kicking racism out of the game? Mm -hmm. Someone is found culpable. Throwing objects. Obvious, obviously abusing players racially, and what you've done is find them 83,000 euros and one stadium ban. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's laughable. I don't think there's an honesty, and I've tweeted this many times. There's, there's a lack of honesty from the people who are screaming, let's kick it out, let's kick it. There's a lack of honesty. Because if UEFA are serious about kicking racism out of the game, mm -hmm. what I'm expecting UEFA to do is get more severe. How about you take three points of Bulgaria and they're qualifying? Wow. How about you kick them out of the competition? Now, if you want to do something, do it right. Mm. Because... The Bulgarian um, Football Union are very comfortable. They will give you 83,000 euros without thinking. And to play some one match stadium band, that could, that could sound severe. But even if you want to close down a stadium, can it be three matches? Can it be four matches? One match. They said the other one is suspended for two years. It is embarrassing, Joe. Uh, I think you're far not being honest. I think you're far not being open enough. I, don't, I think you're far not showing enough steel in, in terms of just going out there and hitting people hard because, like I say, f um, racism is not a football problem, it's a societal problem. Now, but football has a very big role to play. You've got so much powers, you, you, can, you can affect the narrative mm -hmm. using football. And when things happen like this, someone has got to, to, to bear the brunt, someone has got to take responsibility, someone has got to, so what to be you, punished very so well. In, if I may ask, what would you have recommended that they? Um, face. What sanctions do you think? Would kick have been them better? out of the qualifying. And deduct three points, right? And deduct three. No, kick them out of the qualifying. Kick Completely. them out of the qualifying because you've got to show people that <laughs> if you do this, what the next person who does is gets kick, kicked out. And all of a sudden, the fans will be thinking, if I abuse a player racially, mm -hmm. I would be harming my country. So I wouldn't do it. So if it's got to be... Fans shouldn't go to a football ground and think they can do anything and get away with it. They're not going to ask the fans to pay the 83,000 euros. The no, they won't. The, the Bulgarian Football Union will pay the money. So, Joe, it's funny. It, it is really uh, funny. According to Ini right there, it says it's funny. But hey, uh, if you think otherwise, well, um, that, that's just a sentiment, so to say. Well, if you're wondering what will be the future for Arsenal captain Granit Xhaka, well, here is the news. Arsenal are set to offer counselling to the midfielder after fans actually argued Arsenal will offer counselling to captain Granit Xhaka after his angry confrontation with um, home fans uh, during Sunday's 2-2 um, uh, two, two draw with Crystal Palace. The Swedish midfielder Fielder was booed while he walked off the pitch, prompting him to cup his ear, simply saying, I can't hear you. Uh, walked past um, uh, boss Unai Emery and stomped down the tunnel. He also was seen taking off his jersey, but of course he didn't throw it to the floor or to any of the fans. And right now, uh, many uh, people are talking in here about his action. Some ex-internationals have come forward to say, listen, uh, Xhaka, you're still young. You don't know how to handle pressure. And many are saying, you know what, rather than, um, uh, like they say, you don't beat someone who's down already. So let's give him counseling. For me, once, I think this is a good move. I don't know about you.
It is a good move um, because, quite honestly, I've said I've said it to different people, and I, and, I, and and it's it's not good when your fans are booing you. It's, it's not the right thing. The fans were wrong. Let's face it. You can't all be booing your player. You've got to support your player through thick, through thin, through bad times, through good times. That's why. You're a supporter. That's why you're a fan. You've got to to be out there. But as a player, you all, you've got to understand that. With due respect to the likes of Watford and Swansea and Everton, you're playing at Arsenal. It's a massive club. It's the biggest club in the market in 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 the, in the world. Pressure will come, and the Jacques didn't quite handle himself well. Why I'm quite astonished the fact that he has not apologized. I, I'm quite astonished that three days after the situation, he's not come out to say, I'm sorry, I was wrong, I shouldn't have done that. The reason that Xhaka gets paid, the amount of money he gets paid week in, week out, is the fact that the fans. fans. But, but let's also look at this. Xhaka did that, he got the support of his teammates yeah. who actually supported him. And there were tweets and there were pictures of everyone who supported him, even uh, the strikers, Lacazette, um, uh, Aubameyang, name them. What, 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 what would you expect, um, Joe? I would expect that they remain neutral. <laughs> I mean, th this is your teammate yeah. who's gone on out there and done something wrong. You've got to support him. That's why they're teammates. It's, it's about being a comrade in the dressing room. You've got to support him. I know that some of them would go to him personally and say, you've goofed. You've done something wrong. But we stand behind you. But we support you. In the public, we'll go out there, we'll stand by your captain. And they like him. Jack is quite likable in the dressing room. I'm quite astonished that he was given the captain's armband, but the, the players like him. They say he's quite disciplined and all of that. But Yeah, we saw the discipline right there. <laughs> yes, we did, actually. <laughs> anyway, results from the Caraboa Cup played them um, last night. So Everton win uh, by beating Watford two goals uh, to nil. Of course, our very own Kelechi, um, um, uh, you could say he and Acho also um, um, played for uh, Leicester and also got a goal. I mean, he hasn't played in a long, long time, and that's actually good. Other results has it that um, Botten, um, Albion, as rightly said, beaten by Leicester City. You also had Manchester City beat Southampton three goals to one and that game between Oxford United versus Sunderland finally ended in a penalty shootout going Oxford's way they ended up winning by four goals to two on penalties and tonight we have more games coming up in the Caraboa Cup and um, something to look out for as well especially when you have Manchester United versus uh, the all-important Chelsea Chelsea will be taking on United Aston Villa will play Wolves and don't forget too Liverpool will take on Arsenal these are these are wonderful games that everyone should look out for so do not forget to also um, um, start thinking uh, on whose side you will be on especially for Ine but Ine Let's talk about one of the biggest stories that uh, actually went down and most definitely is making each and every one of us um, quite uh, in a celebrating mood. It's got to do with uh, FIFA on the 17th World Cup. Now, Ibrahim Saheed, that name didn't ring a bell up until it was um, a few hours ago. Um, his hat trick um, earned Nigeria's Golden Eaglets a round of 16 ticket after overcoming Ecuador. Well, this goal, um, especially the first one, which was, um, you could say, um, was wonderful, but the third, quite amazing it actually books nigeria to the next round and fifa on the 17 world cup uh will definitely not forget to say that this was an amazing goal but let's look at the game in total first of all first off i would say the boys were actually struggling they didn't have their foot on um their passes were not actually um concentrated on holding on to the ball but second off especially from the 75th minute after they were down uh, we saw a different a different side entirely. What do you think um, the coach must have told them? It shows that this the, the boys have got character. The, they've got real real belief in themselves and desire. Because in the first half, I thought they were neither here nor there. They were quite struggling, like you said. They're not quite passing the ball in the way they should do. Mm -hmm. But in the second half, I thought a bit of improvement, even though they considered that goal quite unfortunate, the defender um, giving away the penalty. But after was that, that a penalty? Yeah, it was a penalty. It, it, it was a penalty. It caught his mind from, from behind. And um, I wouldn't blame the defender, really, because he took a touch in the, in the area. As a defender, when you're under pressure, once the, there's, there's a loose ball, what you want to do is put your foot through it and get it out of the area. He took a touch and it was a bad touch and then the second one resulted in a penalty. But they showed real spirits. They showed real desire. Their passing improved. And that's what I always say. Keep the ball and pass it around. If you're, if you're passing the ball, 
at some point you draw your opponent out. You 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 can force an error. It, so it was great to see them play in the manner they did and and win the game. Even though um, the the Ecuadorians would think they they deserved something out of the game, they didn't deserve to lose because I thought they played well at two one. They they hit the crossbar and it could have been game over at, from from there. But credit to gold the Golden Eagle, credit to Manu Garba and safely through to the, to the second round of, of the World Cup. And it's great to see. I hope they can keep the ball. I hope they can show more composure. I hope they can improve their passing. I hope they can stop shooting from 50 yards. I don't know why players... <laughs> I, I mean, it's quite funny. I was, I was watching the Cameroonians. Is it an African thing? Because I'm looking at the young players from Europe, from South America, so composed, just keep the ball, have a good time. But the Africans are so edgy. They just keep the ball and want to shoot. You need to relax. It's, ah. it's actually called goal of the tournament. <laughs> so everyone's looking for the goal of the tournament. <laughs> and that's it. We have had our goal of the day by bringing to you all the stories right here on the Plus Sports. Thank you, Ini, for being Thank here you. always. All right. So we'll go ahead and continue to remain in that uh, celebration mode. Yes, we're all in felicity or in a felicitous mode, so to say. When we come back, um, that will be till tomorrow. We'll bring to you more stories. Uh, coming from the world of sports. Hey, stick around and stay with us.